<laughs> this video is intended to be the beginning of a series on how to configure a desktop computer like Thor here for correspondence tests. Now what I showed in an earlier video is how I can download the game to a certain player. This is the game I recently finished. This is one of those databases I set up. Tony Kane plays on IC, ICCF, and he's one of the directors there, as well as an international master. An ICCF game, I'm allowed to use an engine, but it still helped me to have some idea what he might play by analyzing the games he's already in the database. Warbook is an idea I got from Michael Hofer. Put all my games in here, regardless of who they're in. I set up a database for Sarah Herman. I only have a couple games in there, but the possibility I'm going to play her again once I'm able to get around and see again. So I want to know what she's likely to play and be ready for. Her. This game I recently won. The game is still in progress. These are uh, PDF files that came with some instruction. There we go. Johnny Owens. I also got a one for Harold Boogie, or Boogie, however it's pronounced. I played him two or three times. Could play him again. Oh, that's Charles Jacob. This is the ICCF number of Johnny Owens. Somebody I'm playing again in the Pan American section. The engines are allowed used in this. Let me try that again. Both of us are allowed to use engines. I've had problems with screen capture video. With um, I can record the screen, but I'm not getting my voice. These are the games of Johnny Owens. Swan a few, drawn a few, look like I might have lost a few. So let's say Johnny Owens won this game. Now all this stuff here, that's the time each player used. I don't normally want this. I don't care how much time was used on each move. Unless the player moved too quickly or took forever to move, I don't care. I'm basically looking, okay, this guy, Martinez, who I may play in the future, opens a deep pawn. I don't normally open with d4, but I might against Johnny Owens if I like what I expect him to play and have something prepared for him. Now, because I don't really want all this commentary, I'm going to delete it. So Owens did win this game. So, if I'm going to open with d4, I'd have to be ready for something that looks like a French defense. This is a French defense now. So I could transpose into a French defense, advanced variation, by opening with d4. If I decide to play the French defense against Johnny Owens, there is something I can play. It's a little risky, but I've done well against the lower rated players with it. I rarely try that opening the Monerberry uh, Gambit against the Master. But against Owens, I might try it anyway. It could be a fun game if I don't win. I've heavily analyzed the lines I've played in the past. There are other ways. If I just want to draw, I can go with the exchange variation. If I'm playing for a win, I'm going to try the Monterberry Gambit. Now, there's something else I recently discovered. This little thing up here. It'll analyze my reference database, which is the mega database. 
this was the novelty which Johnny Owens played. There's something else I can do, special annotation. I can set a metal, which I will do novelty. I can then resave this. And then with the novelty and some other analysis in here, I can go ahead and start the engine going. So maybe I want to start the engine here on this move. I can go up here and you come out to 11 to look at this. So I want to have white against Johnny Owens in this new section. Do I want to try the Milnerberry Gambit? Do I want to go with my usual English opening? Do I want to try a ready? Don't know. I haven't really looked at the pairings to see if a white or black against them. I think I just have one game against Owens and it might end up having black. But if I get white against Owens, Milner Barry Gambit would be an option if we transpose into it out of a Queen's Gambit declined. Or just come at him straight with the E4. Again, I can transpose. I have to look at the previous game to see where I messed up and not make the same mistakes. That's one advantage of playing him, but if, uh, if I know what he plays, he can do the same thing. He can look up my games and prepare something for me. Whether he will is unknown, but he can. The reason I'm using a point of view camera aimed at this screen, kind of just below my left eye, near my mouth, is because when I try to use a screen capture video, I'm having trouble getting my voice recorded as well as the screen. I'll play around with that, I'll eventually figure it out. The other thing is difficult to get headphones over glasses. Once my cataract surgery is completed and no longer need glasses all the time, I might maybe, I'm still going to need reading glasses, might maybe be able to use the computer without glasses. Don't know yet. I might still have to wear headphones over glasses to record screen capture. Um, I'm having problems getting the camera mounted properly over glasses, which is the other issue. I'm planning to buy a special hat that should allow me to mount this. <coughs> if it works the way I hope it does, I'll be able to record what I'm looking at. <coughs> <coughs> Keep my hands free. And I'll get some cushions. Right now, I'm having a real problem with this chair, so I'm going to stop recording. I just basically wanted to show this, the Johnny Owens thing, because I don't analyze his games anyway. I'm going to be starting the game against him soon. I have to take a look at the pairings again and see if I have white or black against them, but maybe one of each. As with white, I'll probably try the Milnerberry Gambit, or if he doesn't go into a French type setup. I have other ideas. As black, I have to take a look at what I played before and see where I messed up. That's it for now. Again, this is intended to be the first video in a series on how to configure a computer for correspondence chess. I'll make the first or this video and maybe a couple others free then I'm going to charge for access to the more detailed information.